B, B. That is that big booty. Back and down. Oh Lord. Oh Lord, oh Lord. Not me. Paying attention to the haters. Big up to all my haters. Got your woman, dog. Cause I'll take her. <laughs> oh shit. This is um that's when shit started out. Those kind of messaging is bad. The fact that sad man. As you can see, man, how you guys doing? Another April 21st, 2021. You don't get it. Ooh. You can't make this. Uh, look at that. That's a beautiful one. He is dark and gorgeous. Hopefully, I saw it. That's just black armor. Feel me shiny and nice. Almost all technology came from nature itself. Of course, you cannot separate the perception of the person that's creating the technology. If there's bias to that individual, then guess what? They're going to create that technology with that bias, biasness. Unless somebody comes in and fine tune it and you know, take out the things that don't need to be there and make it a better technology. But most of the time, when people create technology, they cannot separate themselves from what they have created. And that's not even the topic I was going to talk about, but just seeing that. Cricket. Or whatever it was, I had to just make that, ass not assumption, just had to make that known. You feel me? Today's just another day, man. You know what I mean? We still not, no smoke, feel me? Just, you know, regular, just chilling, just chilling, feel me? Another day, going to work. Today's Wednesday already, time flies by fast, feel me? Here comes the hate. I hear it coming. All right, let's let it pass. Let it pass. One. And two. That was nice. Very, very good. It wasn't that hard. Feel me? Anyway, we on the way to work right now. Still haven't smoked no cigarettes in a long time. Feel me? Shout out to God on that. Don't even have the urge to do it. The next stop is, you know, we have to. The candy gotta go. <laughs> the candy has to go. That nigga gotta go. He gotta go. Feel me? Then after that, I'll be in. I'll be I. I'll be I. Just gotta. Deal with your problem face on. Feel me? You have to. If you look into nature, every time you turn your back on an animal, they will attack. Every time. And that's the same thing with your problems too. You have to face your problems. Once you are facing a wild animal, that's what your problems is. Your problems is like a wild animal. Have you ever been in the zoo and there's a glass in front of you? The animal will always look at you if you face it. It stays in its own position. Any animal like that, it doesn't really have to be wild. A dog will keep barking at you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And you yeah, just in a, in a face off position. You know what I mean? It just takes one to attack and everything else like that. But that's the same thing with your problems. You feel me? You have to face your problems straight on. Like, face it. You're going to have to confront it. You're gonna have to fight it. You're probably gonna have to kill it. That's the same thing. Like when you go to the zoo and you got that big, the glass in between you, sometimes the animals cannot see the glass, the difference between the glass. So as soon as the person turns their back, they run and act like they're about to attack them.
they run and act like they're about to attack the uh, they're about to attack the animal you feel me i mean they run and act like they're about to attack the individual or whoever baby or whatever but there's glass there but as soon as they realize that they can't get it because of the glass well imagine that sin the, the, the that 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 moment or that sin not sin as in as sin as in s c r e e n i know my pronunciation is a little off i speak other languages forgive me anyway um so imagine you facing your problem your problem is like a wild animal probably like a lion any form of wild animal and you have to face it regardless of how much if the fear it could be a small animal like a, a rabbit you feel me you can make it however you want to make it <clears throat> some people imagine their problems to be that much of a chaos that they, they feel like they can't handle it so if they feel like they can't handle it they might see something like a lion or they might see something like a gorilla feel me but when you face and face it every day that lion can turn into something small as a cat and that gorilla can turn into something small like a monkey you feel me and that's how you face your problems every day you have to face it. it's something that you have to face don't turn your back on it once you turn your back on it it will attack and destroy you feel me that's why whenever people make noise and everything else i call them out on it you got to speak your mind i speak my mind on these things and everything else like that And those people that are not willing to change, guess what I do? You accept them for what they are and remove yourself from away from them. Feel me? And that's the, oh, just forgive them in some form of capacity if you're strong enough to do that. And it takes strength to forgive people. It's not something that you just be like, well, I forgive them, but I can't forget it now. You just, like, forgiveness requires forgetting it. It does, you feel me? That's growth. That's that's a whole nother level of growth and everything else like that. It's actually much simpler for you to just remove yourself and walk away. That's the simple part. It's the fact that you can forgive people, forget it, and still stick around it and not feel any kind of way. That's 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 a, another level of divine growth that most people have not reached yet. It's just a fact. You feel me? I love to give you an example. Let's see. You. To give you niggas example oh there yeah. like um christ himself who else can who else can i go to for a good example who else come on man stop playing with it when the disciples denying christ and everything else when he came back when he resurrected and came back guess what he did he said yo where these niggas at tell them to come see me i have come back if it, that was me and my niggas turned their back on me when i needed them the most I'm like, yo, it was good. I thought it was gang gang, nigga. What happened? Y'all niggas, nah. They asked you three times. You deny me, Peter. Fuck is wrong with you? Nah, I ain't fucking with that nigga, man. Can't you see I'm back, fresh, new, feel me? Resurrected from the dead and everything. You think I'm going to fuck with Peter again when he deny me? But guess what Christ did? <laughs> Christ actually forgive him and make sure that he walk with him. And still said Peter is still the corner of my stone and everything else. Da, da, da. He still forgave them. That's you see, you see how that shit works? There is strength and forgiving. Get your big ass head out of here. Show me. There's strength and forgiving. Christ has already displayed that kind of act. Because if it was any one of us, and we I'm about to you about to get locked up in some form of shape and executed for some shit that you did not do. And it's like, yo, wasn't y'all niggas on the same gang together? Wasn't y'all in the same group? Ain't that your brother? Wasn't you eating with that nigga, fighting with that nigga and everything else? Now that there's trouble, you going to deny this man? It's like, I don't know this nigga. You sure? I don't know that nigga. Are you sure, man? I don't know this nigga. Three times. Even Judas betrayed Jesus. I'm pretty sure if Judas didn't kill himself, Jesus would have forgave him too, which he did. So Jesus... Who supposed to, who represents the so-called alpha male that we all want to be like? Because at the end of the day, if you're really talking about alpha, there's nothing alpha in this world except for Christ himself, who came out here to represent what a man is supposed to present himself as. You feel me? That is, that's the ultimate alpha. 
So if we was looking for an example of a man that we can actually model after or mirror after or basically fall in the same line with, you feel me, or imitate or mimic in the alpha form, yeah, it's Christ himself. So, you know what I mean? So when we talk about, when you talk about facing your problems and everything else like that, that's one thing that Christ did, face his problem. And one of the things about facing your problems is like you got to learn how to forgive. You feel me? You just got to learn how to forgive and forget. You can't just forgive and be like, I can't. Nah, I can't. I cannot forget because the shit that happened to me. Feel me? How can you forget? How can you learn? Nigga, you haven't learned yet. You haven't reached the ultimate divine masculine linity. Or the alpha, the so-called alpha that everybody's trying to portray. They're not even there yet. These niggas is bugging. It's a whole, it's a work in progress, but nigga. That alpha shit is not, it's not for little kids. You niggas is kidding yourself if you think that it's just alpha requires err uh, and, uh, you know what I mean, talking down upon women and using people. No, it requires a lot of compassion, you know, forgiveness and forgetting. It requires a lot of, you know, real love, you feel me? understanding it requires a lot out of a man you feel me to the point where it becomes second nature to you that you don't even have to think about it, it becomes something of you like you feel me simple things that you can like somebody can be needing help but you ran towards the person needing help without you even have to think about it like damn um how's this gonna benefit me <laughs> you feel me like shit like that is like like i spoke about the retardedness like some men, some alpha men, uh, initiate, uh, and initiate, insituate. Well, are basically saying, let me not use a word I can't even pronounce here. Hold on, it's libel. Are <laughs> uh, basically saying that if this, if a, a, this how, if a woman's nature is this way, then you gotta do this to the woman and this and run the. No, no, that all that I can't do that. I cannot run a game on a person who does not know any better at times. If that's what you're describing that woman as. Feel me? She for the street, then, I mean, Lord have mercy. Then why would you, yo, let me tell y'all niggas this, B. So I know. Like, you cannot demonize a person. If you call a girl a hoe, right? And you sleep with that hoe, that makes you a hoe too, my nigga. Plain and simple. You feel me? I can't, I don't understand for the life of me. Why? You feel me? Why people would be like, oh, she a hoe, she for the streets. But you done fucked up more than three times. Like, you, nigga, you like, either you like hoes or you a hoe yourself. You feel me? Stop playing with it. You are actually laying down with this woman. Y'all exchanging energy. I know you think you got the condom on. Da da da. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all fine and Danny. But the reason why electrician wear gloves, because. It's made out of rubber, and they do not want to be electrocuted. That's why they wear the gloves. But it is not 19, it's not 99 percent sure that they're gonna be protected from the electricity. Sometimes they get a little bit of a little bit of shock, psh, like it, it, sometimes they penetrate through. And that's the same thing with condoms itself. The reason why condoms is not made out of paper, or it's not made out of some kind of other kind of material, is made out of rubber, just like electricity. That's because we are made out of uh, our sperm is electrifying. That's why the sperm is moving. It's electrical. So to block the transaction or to block the communication from your sperm to the woman itself, you put on a rubber just like an electrician. You feel me? And that's what blocks, so quote unquote, block 99%. It's not 100% proof. But sometimes, yeah, you have that effect. But... If that's the case, if you're wearing a condom for your dick, then how about a condom for your legs and arms and your body? You feel me? Because most of you niggas are having sex naked and there's your skin to skin. That's an... Oh, uh, fuck it. <laughs> skin to skin, that's another transaction. You know what I mean? You're exchanging souls. You feel me? You're exchanging energy. And your, your skin is the biggest, uh, is the biggest organ in your, on your body. So unless you're wearing a space suit with a condom on, that's the only way you're gonna really protect yourself from the woman that you're having sex with. So here you are calling the bitch a hoe this, hoe that, hoe this, but you calling that hoe to come suck your dick most of the time. 
Y'all niggas getting your dick suck and y'all not wearing a condom. Feel me? You exchanging. You exchanging that energy with a woman. You feel me? You exchanging it. And most women, we all know a woman's nature is a woman's nature is to take to take in. How do you think when we bust a nut in a woman is defining gravity? We busting a nut going up. And yet it defines gravity when a nut goes up. It still goes up. That's how powerful your penis is. You feel me? And guess what? It's even more powerful because the woman is sucking it in. She is sucking. She's earth itself. She's going to store all these things. So she's storing every other man that she's having sex with. She's storing that energy. Look at these. Look at the. Look, 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 look at the plants itself. You can plant that many seeds on this ground. This earth itself is equivalent to a woman. She is capable of holding that many seed. You feel me? When I say seed, I'm just talking about information and data. The sperm is different. It's only 2% of the sperm that a man shoot is actually sperm. The rest of it is just energy. Food and everything else and minerals and vitamins and everything else. That's part of his energy. So we shooting the sperm into a woman. The woman is holding on to this energy. That's what she does. She is going to separate it. Separate minerals, bacterials, fungus, everything. Just like the earth itself. You feel me? So now you calling this bitch a hoe, but yeah, you sleeping with her. Shit. Nigga, I done slept with hoes too. And I know for a fact when a pussy is good, it's good. You wanna go raw. And I know most of you niggas went raw. You feel me? So here you are. Here you are, knowingly, knowing that she has a man, or she, you know that she's a hoe, but yeah, you fucking her. I don't care even if you have a condom on, you still gonna get her energy. And worst of all, you putting your dick in a hole that another man has put his dick in knowingly. So technically speaking, you exchanging that energy with her that she's already stole of another nigga, and you exchanging that nigga energy too with that nigga and herself. Niggas don't tell y'all this shit. Everybody wanna lie about this shit, but it's the truth. That's what y'all doing. So if she sleep with, let's just say she slept with five guys in a month, and I'm being modest. Let's just say she slept with five guys in a month, and I happen to the six guys she slept with, I'm literally sleeping with those five guys in her too, because that's what she's storing. She stored those men in her, because that's what her nature is, you feel me? And we could go back to the Bible, how, what the purpose of why the woman was created in the first place, a companion. You feel me? And then the fact that she can actually birth a nation, you feel me? And what does it require for a person to birth a nation? You feel me? You have to be able to hold and store and multiply. You feel me? You're supposed to differentiate and separate what goes where. She's almost like a fucking engine itself. So now you having sex with other men that have put their dick in the same spot. You can actually, if you, if you was in tune enough, which I used to be very, very in tune, with this shit, I just didn't say nothing because I just needed my nut too, I ain't give a fuck. But now that I know better, I'm very cautious about this things and it's scary knowing all this shit. The more information you know, the better man you become. That's why criminals, that's why people who are less educated are more likely to be criminals. You feel me? It's just the truth. And, if you, and the person who's more educated is more likely to do a crime where he's going to benefit from it than actually do a petty crime where he's actually risking his life in some form of fashion hold on i got a few minutes with y'all let me walk and come back then after that i'm done with y'all you feel me so this is just real talk it's just coming out like the way it's supposed to come out hold it take that take that bad boys baby <laughs> anyway back to the story so i went into this whole thing about but divine if you were the man that we look at for the ultimate alpha and the ultimate stand, the gold standard of what a man is supposed to be is Christ himself. You feel me? That's just Jesus Christ himself. You feel me? It's just Christ. You got to know when to fight. You feel me? Especially, you got to know when to forgive and forget. You have to know, you have to know these things. You have to know when somebody comes in your presence and take a little bit of energy from you. You see when a woman touches gar his, 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 his garment, he's like, yo, who stole, who stole my energy, man? It's like... He said, yo, Christ, like, yo, he's like, Christ, like, there's a lot of people, a lot of people are touching you. Nah, it was just a different kind of energy. This, the one that touched me, she wasn't supposed to touch me, feel me? So you got to be careful of who you allow in your space sometime. Because Christ was divine in his purpose, you feel me? 
And this person that touched his garment, although she was a weak person, she was sick and everything else like that, once she touched Christ, Christ, Christ knew a, a, a energy has left him, which meaning if you was a common, if you was an average individual and you allowed this kind of female who sleep with a lot of men to come into your life, she would take something from you, you will become weak and she will actually gain strength from what she took from you. Because once she touched Christ's garment, guess what happened? She became strong and she was healed in that instant. What the hell is this? Shit, toe up from the floor. She, once he touched Christ's garment, she became, he knew something, a power left him. Remind you, he was in a crowd. He was in a crowd. There was a lot of people trying to touch him. There was a lot of people throwing roses and throwing their coats on the floor, like walk on it, this, that, and the third, and everything else. But Christ didn't feel the need to, to even say they touched me or anything else. But when this particular individual touched him, I associate that individual with somebody who has been living the life of a sin. Or sin has come upon that person. It's an illness. It's a disease upon that person. That person's not living right. So when it comes to this whole alpha talk that I'm seeing on, on the red pill and this, that, and the third, I see, I'm like, ah, right, so most of you alpha men and everything else like that, y'all still sleeping with this toxic woman. So which meaning you are a toxic individual. There's no way you are an alpha individual. You are sick you. They These bitches is getting better sleeping with you. They robbing you of your energy, which means you have to work twice as hard just to get that energy back because you healing these hoes. That's what you're doing every time you sleep with them. They getting killed just like when a lady touched Christ's garment. So the, if you're going to be alpha and everything else like that, we need to be in tune with it. Even Christ lost the end, but he's so divine that he gained it right back. You feel me? But a common human being like myself, you know how far that shit gonna set me back without me even knowing? You having problems you wouldn't even know. You feel me? I don't have females in my life where I knew when they came around me, they had the spirit of somebody else that I knew. I'd be like, damn, this bitch is acting like this nigga now. But I didn't say nothing, cause you know, I just wanted my part too, I was selfish. I'm like, I don't give a fuck who should sleep with, you feel me? But you can tell that energy transfer. It doesn't matter how many condoms or condoms they didn't use. You can tell the behavior exchange. And if a person been around somebody for a while, you can tell they start acting and behaving. If you're in a relationship with somebody for a long time, eventually after a while, you probably start wearing this, this, like the same kind of color, the same kind of pattern of clothes and everything else like that. You're almost becoming like a twin like what they call soulmate and everything else. You mimic each other after a while. You feel me? It's the same thing that's going on instantly that we don't even take, we don't get to see these things. We don't get to see these things, but it happens all the time. You feel me? You will become the job that you do every day. That's why you're not supposed to talk bad about the job that you are. You feel me? That's why I don't really talk that bad about this job. I be like, I'm grateful, I appreciate it. But I'm not gonna look down upon it. Oh, I'm not going to allow anybody else to look down upon what I do and be like, oh, he only work. I'm like, yeah, that's that's what I do. Yeah, that's what I'm doing at this moment right now. It doesn't define me in the long run, but it is who I am in the moment right now. That's who I am. And I'm also doing this too. You feel me? Expressing myself. That's who I am right now. You feel me? I'm, I'm expressing my energy in different formats. You feel me? You dig? So the things that you do is what you are. So if you fucking a hoe, then guess what? You are that person that you fucking. Like, let's stop playing with ourselves. We got to change that whole talk. I don't like that language of what they talking about with the whole alpha and the red pill thing because I feel like most of these people are not alpha. Feel me? It's just not. Like, they're not. It's only a few, a few individuals that's actually, you know what I mean? It's only a few individuals that I've seen that I'm, I'm subscribed to that I'm like, ah, these niggas is really, like, they're about what they're saying. You feel me? That's it. Once upon a time, I was against Kevin Samuels. I didn't like what he was saying, but the more I listened to him, I'm like, this guy is very reasonable in the way he comes to his conclusion. The questions that he asks, there's an intelligence behind it. I had to watch him and be like, I, I was wrong because when I heard about you are average at best and you're going to die alone, that triggered me. I'm like, yeah, how you talk to somebody like that? But I'm like, damn, all right, cool. That's brutal honesty. When you watch it, and you you, 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 you you take a look at his past and you take a look at the growth that he's come along and everything else like that. You just take a look at the resume and that's just what he's speaking of. He's a better 
host. No, he's a better he's a better guest than an inter and than a per than a person who's hosting. Because every time he's interviewed, a lot of things come up. Then I'll be like, oh, this man is very intelligent. I like he touch on other topics apart from the, what he does on a regular basis. And I'm like, I right, I like this individual. You feel me? And that's just a few. Like you know, you have Dr. Boyce Watkins. You feel me? Another person who is also a representation of an alpha. Now I remind you, there's a lot of jealous people out there who will try to uh, who will try to pin something on him to make him look less than, because that's just jealousy. You feel me? When somebody's that much of an alpha, you are going to attract everything between people who are just like you and people who envy you. So they're gonna try to do things to deem your lights, and that's what a hater's supposed to do. They would deem your light. You know how they got a demo on the light that you can deem somebody's light? You can deem your light and brighten it up like that. So when you have an op for present, you won't have people who come along like a Derrick Jackson. You know what I mean? These, they, he got got. He wasn't that strong like he thought he was. You feel me? Like you was sleeping on your wife and shit like that. You know what I mean? You feel me? They're they going to put women around you and deem your light. And they can use that as a straw to extract your energy and you're not that high position like the way you used to be anymore because you fell for the trap itself you feel me so being an alpha like christ himself being at that divine stage you don't have to be necessarily a religious individual you just gotta be divine in the space that you're in being in that space you're gonna have demons coming at you every single day to extract and take energy from you because you have something that they need I ain't never seen a person who was thirsty and didn't go to go drink water. People only go to the things that they need. I've always said that. You feel me? We always go to the things that we need. We always go to the things. Light goes to darkness. Because it, 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 you have to, you, you need a dancing partner. You feel me? People always going to need a dancing partner. If you out of shape, guess what? You're going to go work out. That's a dancing partner. You feel me? If I have garbage, I throw in a garbage can. That's a dancing partner. It's made for each other in some form of fashion. You feel me? It is what it is. Like, if you're dirty, you go take a shower. It's a dancing partner. You dig? So, when you at that stage, you're going to have a lot of dancing partners. You at the, you at the highest point you can be. You're going to have a lot of demons. A dancing partner. You have to dance with the devil sometimes. You have to. You gotta, like, you you at that. Jesus had to dance with the devil in the desert. The devil's gonna try you. Like they're going to try you. Like you feel me? When you that high and that, people are going to come after you. Plain and simple. You are gonna have to dance with them. You have to, because the devil does not want to dance with himself. He doesn't like himself. The devil never liked himself. He's always trying to look for the. He's trying to dance with the best of them. And you you happen to be the best of them in that position to feel that you are. Simply the best, you know, you that's my new name. I'm simply the best. You feel me? So it's like you you gonna have to dance with the devil, my nigga. You feel me? You just gonna have to. Like it's inevitable. This is this life itself. Like you feel me? If you're not dancing with the devil, if you ain't got no haters, you ain't nobody. That's plain and simple. You have to be somebody for the devil to take a liking to you. Plain and simple. You know what I mean? You can punch me in my face all you want. It's still not gonna change the fact that I'm the best. I'm that nigga, like, stop playing with me, man. Feel me? <laughs> I am that nigga, yeah? I'm that nigga. I'm just that nigga. Like, you can't, you can't fuck with me, man. Ain't too many niggas that can fuck with me. Ain't too many niggas that can compete with me. And that's a fact. Even the fast said it. The fast is like, you damn, you right, Jeff. Like, fuck. But, yeah, like, I might call this video Dancing with the Devil. Like, we... the. We need dancing partners in our life. You need people like me so you can point the finger and be like, that's the bad guy. You need people like me. You need people like me. You feel me? And it's just the truth, man. You gotta dance with the devil. You do, like, you, you, we all need, we need that in our life. We just can't, like, you feel me? It is what it is, man. So when you, at, when you, when you, you think the battle, the battle hasn't begun yet until you reach that capacity. You feel me? Even on your way there, Jesus was trying to get to a point in his life and he's at the desert and he's trying to be a better person by fasting and everything. Of course, you're going to need fasting too. You have to, um, you have to put yourself through discipline by basically punishing yourself. You have to punish yourself. 
And I know it sounds cruel. Like, who the hell want to know? You have to put yourself through the ultimate test to see if you can withstand the pain or withstand the rain. You feel me? You have to put your... Jesus did that too. If you're going to model anything, I'm not blaming women right now. This, I'm putting everything on the man's shoulder right now. The woman, if y'all want to listen to what y'all need to be, go listen to Kevin Samuel. He'll tell y'all what y'all need to be. Men, listen to what I'm telling y'all right now. You have to discipline yourself. Discipline yourself. Punish yourself. You feel me? You just have to. Punish yourself. You have to put yourself through trials and tribulation. Put yourself in the most difficult situation. You feel me? Just to be a stronger person. That's what you have to do. And you have to make, if you, the ultimate alpha will be Christ to me. It could be somebody else to you, but to me it's Christ. That's the alpha himself. You feel me? Simple. It's like, it's like, you know what I mean? That's how I see who's alpha. You feel me? He's the most influential person I can ever think of. So that's somebody I'm mimicking. I try to mimic after. Even if I don't have to mimic him in a religious way possible, I'm still looking at the things that he had to overcome. You feel me? The leader of men. He had 12 disciples. He has more than 12 disciples. It eventually came down to 12 disciples. So it means you have to be a leader. It means that you have to learn how to feed your team. Look at how many people he fed with the little that he has. You have to read these things and apply it to your life. You don't have to look at it as the kumbaya. And you floating in the air and everything else. Look at it literally for what it says. You feel me? The man was a leader. He was leading men. Then from there, he had little, but he still used that little to feed a whole nation of people. You feel me? Not just was he just leading, man. He knew scientifically about the elements around him for him to talk to the wind and the sea and talk to demons and everything else, things that you cannot see. So it means you have to educate yourself and you have to be smart in the things that you do. This is alpha talk, man. Niggas ain't talking alpha. When they talk alpha, they talk bullshit, talking about... Oh, let's go to the gym and do this and I'm like nah nigga that's just gay talk like you yeah you, you're supposed to be physically in shape like yeah that's why Christ was walking around you know what I mean all the times that he was traveling to those were physically in shape things that he was doing and everything else like that but at the same time there's also requirements that's needed for you to be an alpha hold on what time is it yeah, I'm about to go in I ain't got time to talk to y'all like that you feel me but I'm gonna go in right now so these niggas be talking crazy talking like uh, I mean, you gotta sleep with this. If you wanna sleep with this, you can't sleep with any other woman, my nigga. You feel me? You stripping yourself away. It takes away from your energy. All the things that you work for is you stumbling backwards whenever you sleep with somebody that you claim is a hoe. But you sleep like you feel me? Yeah, shit, nigga. If you have the energy, fuck it and do it. You know what I mean? Sometimes desperate cut times call for that. I've been there. Trust me. I don't fuck a lot of them. So I lost a lot of that I had to redo it and come back to what it was again. That's the grace that they had, God has among, uh, upon us because we can do the mistake and still be able to overcome those mistakes. Anyway, man, I'm called this Dancing with the Devil. You already know what time it is. NBA was good, baby. I'll see you later.